Today, a group of Republican state senators will present bills designed to combat crime. News 8's Lake and McGee joins us live downtown. Uh, this afternoon's uh, announcement comes as Indianapolis is seeing a spike in violence. Yeah, that's right. Now, some leaders are calling for more to be done, and they have been doing this for months as we see continued violent crimes throughout Marion County. Now, uh, we have surpassed the amount of homicides this year compared to the last two years. Now, overnight, we did our research and found some stats from recent years. In 2019, Indianapolis saw 172 homicides. In 2020, that number jumped to 245. At last check, IMPD is reporting that Indianapolis now sits at 200. 53 homicides this year. Local leaders are calling on the state to make changes to the legal system to stop a surge of violence in Indianapolis. FOP President Rick Snyder and activist Reverend Dr. Charles Harrison with the Indy 10 Point Coalition are asking for changes like nonviolent crimes such as stalking or pointing a firearm to be deemed violent. They also want to prevent automatic bonds for repeat offenders. We have been standing up as law enforcement professionals saying their lives matter and we have opportunities to intervene and protect them. The news conference happens today at two at the state house. Now we know there is going to be five state senators there detailing the bill that they plan on writing to curb crime for the 2022 legislative session. Reporting live in Indianapolis, I'm Lake and McGee for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.